I'm Robert Wade of Swallow Bispo Bicycles. We're based in the Ironbridge Gorge in Shropshire, um, just west of Birmingham, which used to be the centre of the universe for bicycle manufacturing and parts manufacturing. Swallow are Pete Bird and Robert Wade. Uh, we worked together way back in the 1980s for seven or eight years together. And we got back together again two years ago to relaunch Swallow. Swallow side, um, it's interesting actually because we're not, we don't actually do touring bikes, we don't actually do racing bikes, we're somewhere in between depending on exactly what the customer desires. We build within reason almost anything that we, we feel is safe and comfortable and artistic to do so. Yeah, we, um, we have another brand called Landscape, which uh, Peter introduced in the uh, sort of early part of uh, 2002, I think. Um, now these are actually made to measure and they are handmade, but they're not made by us personally, which is what you get with a swallow the spoke frame. Um, we do all the design work, we liaise with the customer, do the measuring of the customer, and then we have a small company in the Czech Republic that makes our aluminium frames and then we work with CFAC in France on carbon fibre frames. Bicycle by Design are uh, our sort of overall uh, public facing brand which in commerce is our, our shop in Jackfield where we sell very specialist bikes from other manufacturers. My name is Peter Bird from Swallows. I've been building since 1979 I was a goldsmith originally, so my background is goldsmith and I was apprentice in the City of London, learnt my trade in how to work with metal. I have a lovely story where the, the owner of the business at that time in Hatton Garden allowed me to build um, frames whilst I worked as an apprentice because he knew there wouldn't be any, a job at the end of it. So I bought my first set of tubing from Monty at Condor Cycles. We, um, we use a, a very simple process of um, using a hallmark. Um, I have my own hallmark, so that allows us to mark a number badge which goes out with a hallmark on it. And that hallmark is obviously year denoted and location denoted because it's got the mark of Birmingham on it. And then we put a number of the date of the completion, so when we've completed the frame we put that on there. We initial it. The unique bit about this is that we had to get um, special permission from the assay office to allow us to do this. We're effectively fixing it to base metal and uh, that means it could be passed off as a solid silver bicycle frame, which of course it is. is it? Advice for a would-be frame builder. It's a tricky one. We've all got to start somewhere, um, but it is hard. It's not just building frames, you've got to make a business out of it, you've got to make liaise with people. If you're good in the workshop, you might not be good with people skills, and you need people skills to sell the bike. So it's uh, you need to be an all-rounder at all sorts of things to make it a viable business and make it uh, uh, a good, fun thing to do. Mm -hmm.